welcome to another episode of Bye Kids for Kids Storytime. The Bearded Fool. Once upon a time, there was a man with an extraordinarily long beard. It was so long that it reached down past his waist. He was very proud of his beard. Every day, he washed it, dried it, and carefully combed it, making sure that it was always in perfect condition. My long beard makes me look so intelligent and dignified, like a professor or a wise sage. He would think to himself, admiring his magnificent whiskers in the mirror. One night, the man was in his house, sitting in his study, reading a very important-looking book by candlelight. He was sitting in a comfy leather armchair with a cat sleeping by the fire at his feet. The room was covered from floor to ceiling with shelves, all of which contained the cleverest and most important books the world has ever known. He was particularly enjoying a book of wise sayings throughout history, until he came across a sentence that read, "Any man with a long beard is a fool." What? He thought this cannot be true. I must have read something wrong. So he placed his reading spectacles on the end of his nose. Incidentally, he thought this made him look even more intelligent. Then he read the sentence again very carefully. Any man with a long beard is a fool. The man was utterly horrified. I always thought a long beard was a sign of intelligence. He cried. I thought my long beard made me look so scholarly and wise. I have been tragically mistaken all this time. I thought that everyone has been admiring me, but instead, everyone has been thinking I'm a fool and laughing at me. The deeper the man pondered, the more depressed he became. No, no, I can't take any chances. Maybe what is written in the book is true. He was so dreadfully disappointed and deeply embarrassed that he decided to get rid of his long beard at once. I will recover my dignity," he cried, hunting high and low for a pair of scissors. He searched the kitchen. I know I left them here somewhere. Ransacked the bathroom. Scissors, scissors! For pity's sake, where are you? And turned his study upside down. Ah! Oh, but could he find them? No. But he had another idea. There must be a razor here somewhere," he cried, charging back into the chaos of the bathroom. Again, he rummaged around, and again he found nothing. He scratched his head. "Bah! Of course I have no razor. I haven't shaved in decades." He tried to pull his beard out with his hands, <coughs> but that was never going to work. Then he saw the cat. Still sleeping by the fire, he found some string and tied one end to his beard, and the other to the tail of the cat. Then he howled loudly like a wolf,、oh! which sent the cat running away in panic.、Oh! The string lengthened and tightened,、oh! but it did not break. Instead, the poor man was dragged around and around the house by his beard. Stop! Until mercifully, his knot loosened from the cat's tail. The cat departed with an indignant hiss, leaving the man alone in his desperation. With despair, he caught his breath, staring vacantly into the flame of a flickering candle. I've got it," he said. "Yes!" he roared. "Of course! Why didn't I think of it before?" he cried, grabbing the offending hair in his hands, and without thinking, held the tip over the flame of the candle. It 
caught fire instantly. <laughs> but the flames licked up the length of his beard much faster than he had expected. No, 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 no. In mere moments, the hair was all gone and the fire was singeing his face. <laughs> then his curly moustache caught fire. Help! Then a spark leapt up into the hair on his eyebrows. Oh, and then his head. My head. Until all of his hair was on fire. My head. The man My screeched. <laughs> Within moments, the fire was out. There was nothing left to burn. The hair on his head had all burned to ash. Hearing his cries, the neighbors came running with buckets of water at the ready. They were shocked to see his scorched face and head surrounded by a little cloud of smoke. How did this happen? They cried, drenching him with water. I read in my book that men with long beards are fools. And indeed, I have proved it to be right. You know the book the man was reading, where it said, all bearded men are fools? Well, don't take it too seriously. Not all bearded men are fools. My dad's got a beard. He's not a fool. And looking wise has got nothing to do with whether you have glasses on the end of your nose or not. Thank you for listening to this episode of Bye Kids Full Kids Storytime. Performed by Maya Degenhardt and Ruby Jews. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.